Have you ever seen the inside of a neurosurgery theatre before? Well, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> I got confused. In this video, we'll show you oh, inside. Yeah. Have you ever seen inside a neurosurgery theatre before? So in this video, we'll take... <laughs> Have you ever seen inside a neurosurgery theatre before? So in this video, we'll take you through a tour of the whole neurosurgery theatre, including the anaesthetic room, the neurosurgery theatre room, and the scrub room. This is Mohammed. This is Adi. This is the Neurosurgeon's channel. And this is the only place where you find two neurosurgeons talking to you about everything about the brain and spine. Hi, welcome to our anaesthetic room. I'll give you a tour through where people get put off to sleep. So this is our airway trolley. It has all the things that we need to keep people's airways open and breathing during their procedure. So lots of equipment here for various different scenarios and to keep the tube in place, which is one of the most important things. Over here would usually be the bed where our patient would be coming in from the ward, be put off to sleep. And the way we would get you off to sleep is with this big collection of various medicines um, that are used to induce a general anaesthetic. Down here, we've got all of our syringes, needles, uh, our anaesthetists will use some cannulas uh, to give you medicines. And then over here, the most important piece of equipment is our ventilator. Uh, it has lots of settings, which I understand just a small amount about. People who understand the most are anaesthetists, uh, anaesthetic assistants. But basically this machine will keep oxygen moving in and out of the body and keep the lungs working during a general anaesthetic. Welcome to the Neurosurgery Theatres. This is one of our theatres here in Glasgow. We have many um, theatre rooms. I'll just take you through a quick uh, tour here in our theatre room. So to start with, we have uh, one of the computers that we use. And then moving to the next part of this room, which is one of the most important pieces in this room, which is the anaesthetic machine. And that's basically used to keep the patient asleep all the operation, which is the most important part of the operation, to be honest. Once the patient is wheeled from the anesthetic room that we just showed you earlier, the patient is wheeled and put on the uh, operating table and kept asleep with this machine. And that's yet, yeah, the patient gets connected with all of these wires and tubes to the patient on the table. Then here we have the lights of the theatre room, which basically we can move all the way around to show um, the patient and have a good elimination of the surgical field. And then moving around here, we have a big screen, which is a very wide screen where we can see, as you can see here, this is a system where we can show the patient images, which is the MRI scan, the CT scan that was done for this patient, where we can know where is the lesion that we are trying to deal with and have these images behind us just in case we need to review these images at any point during the operation so it's available there. Then the next um, second most important thing in this um, uh, theater room is the microscope. Neurosurgery changed a lot after the microscope and we are being able to operate on uh, a lot of things that we never operated on before because of the microscope. These microscopes allows us to have um, very um, zoomed image, very high quality image where we can see it has a very focused light and we can move it around and so and we can look through to see the patient brain in much detail. And this is a screen of the microscope where the other team members in the room can see what's happening under the microscope. It's not the same image through the through the eyepiece, but it's a very good image to show. The next, we have this little machine, which is basically a drill, which we can use to drill through the patient's skull. 
we will have another video um, to talk about the drill and we'll show you how it works. Then back here, you can see that there are small white boards which we can use to keep the information. You can see here a lot of uh, hieroglyphic uh, words where it basically um, keeping uh, track of all the um, little things that we use during the operation so that we, uh, lose, we don't lose anything. Then we, moving here, this is a lighting console which basically controls all the system for the operating room, it includes the lighting, the ventilation, it has a clock, everything in place. This is the brain line machine which helps us with navigation through the brain. And finally, this is the operating table. We have Bob the Brain, he's our patient again, saying hello to Bob. Hi Bob. And then the operating table is basically can move in all directions. We can use this remote control here to move it up and down. Looks like it's functioning, move it up. We can tilt it if we want. So this is a quick tour of our theater room. We'll take you to the next step. Hello, and welcome to the scrum room. And so this is where Mohammed and I would come in to start our procedure. Really, in my mind, once we've got the patient and everything set up in theatres. And this is a very nice scrub sink. Um, and here's where we wash our hands. We use a sterile wash. This is iodine. Um, we have some alcohol-based washes to make our hands nice and clean and sterile. And here's just some trolleys where we'll have our gloves and gowns. And here we have an assortment of gowns that we wear, all sterile, so I won't open any of them up. Uh, and a whole set of gloves for all different sizes and shapes of hands uh, for surgeons and scrub staff. So that's the tour of our theatres. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe because it's really important to us to know what's useful and also lets us grow the channel. See you in the next one.